In this video, I'm gonna give you my opinion on this lens and go into a little bit more detail of the specs overview. Let's start off with the build quality. It is made of plastic, it feels really nice in the hand, it doesn't feel cheap and it's very portable, so it's very lightweight and you can take it with you anywhere. It looks pretty damn cool with the lens hood on as well. This lens is not weather sealed, so you can't use it in the shower. No, only joking. Yeah, so you can't use it in heavy rain, thunderstorms, all those damp conditions. So this lens, the 25mm, is essentially the 50mm equivalent of a full frame. So that's the view that you actually get when this lens is on the Micro Four Thirds camera. One of the main reasons why I wanted this lens was the f-stop. So you get a f1.7. That makes it the lowest f-stop lens that I own in my camera bag. Also makes it one of my favourites because what you're able to create, it gives you a very smooth bokeh when you know you know f1.7 all the way another downfall on the lens is it doesn't have is what i mean by that is it doesn't have image stabilization so if you want to take video any slight shake you're really going to notice it because it doesn't have the is the autofocus is incredibly fast on this lens as soon as you click down on the shutter you're you're locked in focused and it's just so good incredibly smooth unlike many lenses this lens is focused by wire so what that means is, in a normal lens, you'll have mechanical functions. When you focus, you can actually see the lens mechanically working and going in and out of focus. On this lens, it doesn't have that. This is electronic. It's focused by wire. It focuses with the camera, which causes a slight delay on the manual focusing feature. Some people might not like the delay that the manual focus gives. To wrap this up, so you get super fast autofocus, sweet, sweet bokeh, very sharp, picture quality it's a very portable lens fit anywhere in your backpack it will fit in your pocket and you get the full frame equivalent of a 50 millimeter for the low cost of this lens definitely worth buying thanks for watching this video uh, be sure to check out my previous video on the the lumix g7 which is why i originally bought this lens for that camera if you've made it to this far please give this video a like feel free to subscribe as well hopefully i'll see you in the uh, the next video Th thanks again